Which couple had a Shakespeare-style family drama that gave start to a new reality show? Who has already welcomed kids or started a new surprising career path? And who found the strength to trust their partners despite their incessant lies? Hi, I'm Dylan, and you're watching Asa. Let's have a closer look at the top 10 sweetest couples who are still enjoying their married life after 90 Day Fiancé. Number 10. David and Annie, Season 5 when you make a vow to stay with your partner for richer or for poorer, everyone hopes for richer, right? 24-year-old Annie from Thailand did not expect to be living in poverty when she married twice older David from Kentucky. The couple met at a bar in Thailand, where Annie worked as a singer, and David was totally charmed by her voice. Being a father of three and lacking a proper job, the man found it hard to impress his future in-laws and get their approval. The couple eventually got married in America, but their financial struggles got even worse. As was shown on their return for season Season 3 of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? And Season 3 of 90 Day Fiancé, What Now? The couple was still living in an apartment above a storage facility owned by David's friend. David had found a part-time job teaching English as a second language, but it was hardly enough to provide for the family. Fortunately, Annie had finally received her travel and work permits, and her career plans are very surprising. She is seriously considering joining the army, as according to her, that kind of job is very professional. That's successful in life if you can serve with the country. David supports his wife and her decision to serve in the military, as this could pay for her college education. The couple was recently forced to move out of the place they lived in. So for a while, they traveled around the country and stayed with their family and friends. David and Annie recently announced their decision to settle down in Arizona. Number 9. Narkia and Olulowo here is another couple who endured skepticism and struggled to gain acceptance from their families. Although Olulowo calls his now wife his queen, he has made mistakes that almost cost him his long-awaited marriage. 36-year-old Narkia from Pennsylvania was a single mother to her teenage son Malcolm. Being completely disappointed with local men, she connected with a Nigerian native Olulowo via a plus-size dating site. The guy was eight years younger than his future bride and referred to himself as a Nigerian prince, which was obviously a lie. Sounds like a scam, right? That's why Narkia's family and friends were not supportive of their relationship. But Olulowo never asked for money. Sadly, it wasn't the last premarital lie from the groom. He appeared to have been in contact with his previous partner and the mother of his child in the early stages of his new relationship. Could you forgive a fake Nigerian prince? Well, Narkia did. Despite their sporadic breakups, the couple got married. Now the spouses are raising their blended family together in the U.S. Looks like these two proved that true love can survive all the drama. Number 8. Russ and Paula, Season 1 How can an ambitious and saucy woman find her happiness in the arms of a conservative and somewhat jealous man? Well, here's a story that once again showed the transformational power of love. Russ from Oklahoma met Paula when he was working in Columbia. Though the two are very different, they immediately felt the chemistry and started a relationship that changed their lives dramatically. When Paula moved to Russ's small town, she realized she didn't have enough space for her career aspirations in modeling. At first, Russ was not happy with the idea of moving to a big city and felt uncomfortable with seeing his wife photographed with little clothes on. They had their fair share of conflicts on 90 Day Fiancé Season 1 and 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After Seasons 1 through 4. But eventually, Russ agreed to move to Miami and became supportive of Paola's career. Another challenge the couple faced was Russ's conservative family, who was not that welcoming to their daughter-in-law. Anyway, the couple have been happily married for six years now, and almost a year ago, they welcomed their first son, Axel. Russ still calls Paola, my first, my last, my everything. Kalani and Asuelu This couple's road to happiness was thorny too, but their connection, born from drastic differences, brought them a lot of supporters. 30-year-old Kalani from California met her future husband in Samoa three years ago. She was there for vacation, and Asuelu, who was seven years younger than her, worked at the resort she was staying in. The two quickly realized they had feelings for each other and thought that long-distance relationships would not work. So Kalani soon flew back to Samoa, and this time not just for a lovely talk. She wanted Asuelu to become her first man ever, and that resulted in her pregnancy. Kalani gave birth to their first son Oliver without her loving partner by her side, and her family did not believe that Asuelu was the right person for her. And that was partly true, as when Asuelu finally got his K-1 visa and came to America, Kalani was shocked by his immaturity. 
He was like another child she had to raise, and for some time, it was really exhausting. While filming 90 Day Fiancé Season 6, Kalani got pregnant with their second son, Kennedy, who joined the family in May 2019. The couple managed to work out their issues and eventually tied the knot. And although Kalani and Asuelu still hit some bumps in the road, they look really happy on Instagram and their own YouTube vlogs. The spouses also make appearances on 90 Day Fiancé, Pillow Talk, a spin-off which features former cast members commenting on the newest seasons of the reality franchise. Number 6. Evelyn and David This couple has a very strong bond, and that's not only because of their feelings for each other, but because of their mutual commitment to their faith. Both Christians who are saving themselves for marriage, Evelyn and David first connected via Facebook. The 27-year-old Spanish guy was fascinated by the young American singer when he discovered her band on social media, so he made the first step. Fortunately, 18-year-old Evelyn liked David back. But even love built on common values goes through storms. For Evelyn and David, it was a nine-year age gap wedding planning and disputes about settling down in a small town versus big city. But the couple made it through, and they recently celebrated their second wedding anniversary. David has been really supportive of Evelyn's career, including her American Idol journey. In September, the couple announced that they were moving to Los Angeles for Evelyn's music career. And considering David's desire to live in a big city, they are both pretty excited about the new chapter they are about to begin together. Number 5. Lauren and Alexi how can you make a rational decision to spend your life with someone whom you have only known for 10 days? For Alexei Brovarnik, ex-Ukrainian immigrant in Israel, it was quite easy. He met Lauren while she was on a birthright trip to Israel, and immediately felt that she was the one. Though their love for each other is undeniable, the couple did have their own issues to overcome. Lauren wanted her hobby to pursue a career in modeling, but Alexei was not fond of that idea, hoping to become a firefighter, paramedic, or policeman. But the bigger challenge for the groom was accepting the fact that his fiancée was not honest with him. Lauren was hiding the fact that she was living with Tourette syndrome, which is hereditary. When Alexei finally came to America, Lauren moved back in with her parents to save money for the wedding. The couple had been married for four years now, and in October, they announced that they were expecting their first child in 2020. Alexei and Lauren appeared on season Seasons 1 and 2 of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, and 90 Day Fiancé, Pillow Talk, to share their follow-up stories. Number 4. Alan and Kirlim The next couple is among the series' favorites. This duo was also saving themselves until marriage. Though that decision brought a lot of tension, both stayed true to their beliefs. So maybe that's one of the secrets of their strong bond? 29-year-old Alan from California met Brazilian beauty Kirlim on a Mormon mission trip in her hometown. The couple tied the knot six years ago, and they still seem madly in love. Kirlim hoped to start a career in modeling, but her husband was not comfortable with that idea. Eventually, the woman fully embraced her role as a wife, and two years ago, she gave birth to a lovely boy, Liam. Lil Kirlim gave up her aspirations in modeling, she started her family vlog on YouTube, keeping fans up updated with their life. The couple also appeared on 90 Day Fiancé, What Now? Number 3. Chantel and Pedro, Season 4 This hot couple's relationship is all about fiery passion. They are like Latino-American Romeo and Juliet, since both families are not fond of Chantel and Pedro's bond. Also, the new spouses are almost of the same age, contrary to most of the couples on this list. So 25-year-old Chantel from Atlanta connected with 24-year-old Pedro from the Dominican Republic when she was looking for a Spanish teacher. But the pair eventually found themselves mutually crushing on one another, and Chantel started visiting Pedro in his homeland. During one of her visits, Pedro proposed, and that was the start of an emotional marriage littered with plenty of familial confrontations. Pedro and Chantel are probably one of the most well-documented couples on the show. After originally appearing on season four, of 90 Day Fiancé, they were also part of the cast of seasons 2, 3, and 4 of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After. Their wild romance is spiced up with hostile attitudes from both families, who still do not fully accept their choices. And since the story could not be limited to just Pedro and Chantel, the couple, along with their in-laws, got their own show spin-off, The Family Chantel. Number 2. Danny and Amy, Season 2 Another sweet and religious couple who had to prove that true love has no boundaries. U.S. native Danny met South African Amy on a Bible study trip in Australia. They developed a special bond that made Danny travel back and forth to South Africa to spend time with his girlfriend. It didn't take him long to propose, as he saw Amy as the one. Still, not everyone in Danny's family was welcoming to Amy. Her now brother-in-law thought that the decision to tie the knot was not thought through and tried to talk Danny out of it. And when Amy eventually came to America, 
America. Her now father-in-law made it clear that interracial marriage is a problem for him, but a relationship based on trust, love, and respect was strong enough to cope with everything. And by the time the couple appeared on the season 2 Tell All episode, Amy's relationship with her father-in-law was improving. This July, the lovebirds celebrated their fifth wedding anniversary without a hint of slowing down. Danny and Amy now live in Texas and have two children, Jedediah and Anna. Number 1. Kyle and Noon Even the coldest hearts melted when they saw these two reuniting in the airport with the groom's tears of happiness. Can you actually pretend to love a person that much? Kyle from New Orleans first connected with Bajari Noon Bunma from Thailand on Facebook while doing research for his forthcoming vacation. When the couple finally met, they realized it was a match made in digital heaven. Though Kyle didn't officially propose in Thailand, Noon still came to America and the life-changing question was popped during a romantic parachuting trip. The couple wed in a Buddhist temple, and they are still happily married. Of course, not everything was so smooth on their journey either. Noon found living in New Orleans unsafe. She was mugged several times, so the couple later moved to Oregon. She was incredibly supportive of her husband when he shared the issues of their relationship with his parents. And though Kyle's mother was rude to Noon, claiming her reason for getting married was just to get a green card, the duo made it through. Kyle and Noon got along so well and looked so so in love that they definitely stand out from other 90 Day Fiancé couples. After season 3 of the original show, the couple came back to franchise's season 1 of 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After. What is your favorite couple on the show? What else would you like to know about 90 Day Fiancé? Share in the comments, subscribe to our channel, and as always, stay awesome!